this second part of the video, we shall continue um, substitute the boundary conditions that we uh, showed earlier. Um, first, the BC one. Then we substitute into these equations in here. 1 minus half x and not equal to k1 not divided by k2 so you know that your k2 will be equal to 1 minus half x and not and then your bc2 1 minus half uh, multiplied by 0 will be equal to k1 raised to the thickness of the of the film of your gas okay and then this will be equal to 1 k1 this 1 minus half x a naught so your k1 this will be equal to half divided by 1 minus half x a naught okay then um you're essentially your k1 will be equal to the k1 raised to that um, thickness of the film minus one so this one will be equal to one minus half x a naught minus one divided by the thickness of the film and then you can substitute back everything um, or I should I should use the I should start from the left portions of the page so this will be equal to 1 minus half x and not minus z divided by the thickness of their film multiplied by 1 minus half x a not okay so this will be equal to 1 minus half x a will be equal to 1 minus half x and not 1 minus z divided by the thickness of the film then you basically get an expression of your x a as a function of z and then now you can find the molar flux of of the reactant through the film okay this one it will be an az equal to minus c dab over one minus half xa multiplied by dxa over dz and this one minus 1 1 divided by 1 minus half x a dx a over dz will be equal to c1 which is equal to minus 2 ln k1 so if we go back up again in here okay remember that this particular uh, step and then um, also we take that this c1 is equal minus 2 ln k1 okay so based on these two then we will have minus two ln one minus half x a naught minus one divided by the thickness of the film of your i'm um, of your guess so your naz will be equal to minus c dab 1 over 1 minus half x a dx a over dz then we can put in all those terms minus 2 ln ln minus half x a naught minus 1 divided by the film thickness then we can cancel this negative they become positive
minus 2 CDAB multiplied by 1 divided by the film thickness ln 1 minus of x n not minus 1 2 CDAB divided by the film thickness multiplied by ln 1 divided by 1 minus half x a naught and a z in here is defined as the local rate of reaction per unit area of kata lithic surface so what what essentially uh, this expression shows is that uh, although chemical reaction occurs instantaneously at the catalytic surface the conversion of a to B proceeds at finite rate. So what it's uh, what what we are saying in here is the chemical reaction actually is infinite, but the conversion of A to B proceeds at finite rate. It's not infinite, and this is because of the diffusion process. which is in series with the reaction therefore we can say that uh, We can say that the conversion of A to B is division controlled. So let's imagine you have this step from this step to this step. Okay. And then also uh, this step in here is actually the reaction. And uh, the, the rate in here is infinite. But and then you have another series reactions in here. Which is the diffusion. And this one um, has a finite rate. Let's say it, it proceeds at a particular at a particular uh, rate. Okay, so the overall rate will be limited by the slowest step in your process which is your diffusion so the whole process will have a finite rate okay and 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 it will be uh, controlled by the diffusion um, step in your in your overall process okay um, uh, continuing from here um, uh, in the next example um, which I will not um, uh, record the video but I will just explain a little bit in here if if the reaction in here 2a uh, the, the problem in here is actually called a diffusion with a slow heterogeneous reaction let's say that the reaction 2a becomes b is not instantaneous at the catalytic surface
at z equal the film thickness. Instead, we assume that the rate at which A disappears at the catalyst coated surface is proportional to the concentration of A in the fluid at the interface. So in here we can express that this NAZ equal to K1 CA and then this one will be equal to K1 C XA and K1 in here is a rate constant for the pseudo first order surface reaction in here we call it pseudo because it may not be first order reaction but it looks like it's first order reaction okay or it can be assumed as a first order reaction with respect to the concentrations of a and so the if if this is the case then what is different with the previous derivations is just the bc2 in the BC2, this, your XA will be equal to NAZ divided by K1C. Note that in the previous, uh, in the previous problem, in your BC2, your X is equal to 0 because the reaction occurs instantaneously such that um, all the moles of A will be um, equal to 0. So it's basically totally consumed at the catalyst surface but in this case it's not because the uh, the reaction does not occur instantaneously okay so this NAZ in here is a constant at steady state so then um, now what you can get in here is uh, uh, what you can derive essentially is another expressions of the of your x a as a function of z, um, which I I have shown in the in the note that uh, is at, uh, uploaded into this uh, this week's uh, lecture. Without deriving that thing, then you will have the final expressions of this. Multiplied by 1 minus half x a naught 1 minus z over z uh, divided by the film thickness. Okay, so the expressions will be different with the expression of x a as a function of z that we uh, we we derive for the for the previous case. Okay, um, then uh, without without going into the details, then uh, you you can find the, uh, in the in the notes. Uh, the final expressions for the molar flux will be 2 CDAB 1 over the film thickness ln 1 minus half and AZ divided by K1C divided by 1 minus half x a naught, and this can be simplified further into 2 CDAB divided by the film thickness ln 1 minus half and AZ divided by K1C divided by 1 minus half XA not okay um, this basically uh, we have a, a different expressions for this molar flux okay um, if we do another uh, simplification using a Taylor series, then we can find out that your NAZ will be equal to 2 C DAB divided by the film thickness 1 plus DAB divided by K1 ln 1 over of x a not this is assuming that your k1 
accent is large okay and then um, what comes up in here is this dimensionless numbers the AB K1 accent which basically shows the effect of surface reaction kinetics on the overall diffusion reaction process or um, the reciprocal of this um, particular dimensionless group is called dam Kohler number and it's equal to this things in here um, so accordingly uh, basically all the dimensionless number that you 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 get from your chemical engineering uh, they mostly derive uh, by 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 carrying out a mass balance in the microscopic level okay uh, with this i conclude um, uh, the video for this example okay thank you for listening